heavy repowering, almost entirely intact. We're beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. Wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a final example of early second era Kaviri sculpture in print. Humans rebel at Dragon Ball Lord, a legendary crew. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the wall. Here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. Well, how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what it. You mean they used a shout, Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin Bird. So we're looking for a shout then? Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mount to scum they do. The Greybeard are so afraid of power that they lose it. Think of have they tried the Civil War or done any Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you. Of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes learned to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards <laughs> up on their mountain. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, Pan. The prop brought Tamriel in the first place of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. I know the prophecy. Once all blades knew it, when misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the bricks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls. When the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding, her wakes and burns upon the top. 
What do you need, Dragonborn? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the Blades. Someday. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember, though, being a Blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. Well, I'm gonna look around some more. See what for us. Speak up, I'm a little dear. You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the bleth would last for very long. Whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. Yes, yes. Who knows what we're going to treasures we might discover. What is it? Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take their old life behind and stay here from now on. Very well. She seems like a f I'll give her the oath. If you find any more candidates, bring them here. You, the Dragonborn, wishes to, to join the Lost Guardians of Tamriel, the Dragon Slayers. Do you wish to become a blade? I do. Are you willing to trade away all claims and titles of your former life? To live here, devote yourself to protecting Tamriel from danger? I do. Then, by my right as acting Grandmaster, I name you a blade, with all the privileges, rights, and burdens that brings. Godspeed. What is by it? By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamra. Lead the way. What is it? Did you need something?
Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimkoll. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. First, Master Wolfgar will teach you the final word of unrelenting force. You are ready. Between us and prepare yourself. Withstand the unbridled voices. But you are ready. Unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Wind, guide you. Where did you... Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. I did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. I have given my answer. Go and reconsider your course. Dragonborn, wait. I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragonrand. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil 
into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. you my understanding of clear sky. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. you to my Strunmach, my mountain. Yes, Vaza, Dovakin, save me. It has been like I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation along our speech. 
Evenar Balok. There are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechni Nakib. Discipline against the lesser aids in Kachnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dova King. For one of Dova Source, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. They are very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the Dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach. The Elder Brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. 
Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Ulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Sokrevax Truma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Hmm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist. But it has always existed. Rahwatlan. They are... Mm, fragments of creation. The Kele. Elder Scrolls, as you name them. They have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power, Zofa Suyek. Tid Krent, time was, shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. 
Look through.